what's the most creepiest thing a woman has ever done to you? Probably not as exciting as most here, but still super weird. I was staying at my friend's house, sleeping in his guest room. Friend is at work, his girlfriend is at home. One thing about this room is that it has a very heavy door that has to be held open by something super heavy or else it slams shut. Well, I sleep with the door closed. I wake up in the morning and as I do every morning, I lay there for a bit longer before actually getting out of bed. Well, this time all of a sudden I see the door open. The light is still off but the hallway light being on means I can see if someone's standing in the doorway. I have my eyes kind of open and I can see that she's just standing there in the doorway, staring at me. I didn't move. I wanted to see what would happen because this was thoroughly freaking me out. She just stood there for at least 10 minutes, didn't look away, didn't walk around the room. I was laying at a weird angle where I could see her perfectly, she could see me, but she couldn't see that my eyes were half open. I thought she may have been in there to grab something because there's a bunch of stuff in the closet, clothes and such. Nope. 10 minutes I waited for her to do something or to walk out. Finally I flinched and fiend waking up and I heard her run out and the door slam. I got up, went into the kitchen and she was as bubbly as could be, acting like nothing happened. Acting like she didn't just spend 10 minutes watching me sleep. Is your buddy's GF a cat? I had an ex-girlfriend stalk me for five years. I had a restraining order against her that included my grandparents, she had been bothering them, and my parents, but I couldn't think to include my sister because she lived in a different city. This woman stalked my sister and ended up approaching her at a music festival. She was wearing, this is so insane, one of those hats that has fake dreadlocks attached to it, and she was trying to pretend to be a stranger and get information from my sister. Now, keep in mind one, she was white too, that was the only thing she did to disguise herself, and three, my sister knew her already. It would be hilarious if not for the years of hard and inconvenience she caused me. Every time I would move, she would send me something in the mail to let me know she had my address. One time it was a box with a flannel shirt, a half-empty bottle of cologne, a broken toy axe, a bundle of pubic hair, and an 11-page letter written in crayon. She was crazy. Do you know that I give you money for uploading my videos to TikTok, and the one who gains the most views in a month gets an extra $1,000? More details on my Discord server, link in the comments. Met a girl at a bar, and we ended up back at her place. We messed around and fell asleep. She seemed normal all night, and I saw no red flags at all. I definitely would have dated her again, until she went crazy. I woke up around 5am and started getting dressed to leave. I had to get home and get ready for work. She woke up while I was dressing and totally freaked out. She was screaming, angrily, you can't leave. I explained I needed to go to work and that I'd call her later. She was having none of that. Then she attacked. I literally had to physically fight my way out of her apartment with a few scratches on my arm for souvenirs. I have no idea what her deal was and I never went back to the bar I met her in. I met this girl when I was out one night. She was nice, seemed normal. Went to her house and there was pictures of me around her mirror. Woman I was engaged to was doing all the prep for the wedding. This was in her country and I didn't understand the language all that well so I was a bit limited on how much I could help her out other than helping to cut the invite cards out etc. She was a very hot-tempered person as she was but as much as I asked her what tasks I could help out with she just refused to involve me in anything at all and then complained that I wasn't helping enough. She argued and argued with me about how I didn't care despite my efforts to be involved in all the prep. It was all very manipulative. Eventually she actually pulled a c*** out at me. I slapped it off her wrist and she stormed off. When she left for work the next day I packed my bags, took a taxi to the airport and noped out of there. I was probably 9. It was after church service and there's this new lady there who took a liking to me. She was the new wife of the minister. We were outside waiting for the grown-ups to come out, I think they were having a meeting inside, and this new lady took me to a bench nearby. We sat asking lots of questions, then she put my head on her lap, stroked my hair while humming a lullaby like I'm a baby. It felt really uncomfortable and I really wanted to escape, but I was a shy little boy and didn't want to offend her or something. Saw my sister from afar snickering at us. It went on for like 30 minutes but felt like hours I was dying with cringe inside. Met a girl at a party, we flirted, then we ended up in my bedroom, this was in my apartment. Heavy make out, I suggest taking it further, she declines. Heavier making out, basically including anything that's not intercourse, I suggest taking it further again, she declines. Fair enough. We stop making out and plan to see each other again. The day we were supposed to meet, she stood me up, I had cooked and it was already time to meet. She told me that she doesn't want to see me again because I wasn't pushy enough, she liked men who were less soft and gentle. She basically told me that when she said no, I shouldn't have listened. Dodged a bullet there. 
girl I had seen for two dates had her best friend SMS me anonymously claiming we met in a bar the night before and offering to come over to my place. I rarely went to bars as I worked the night shift at the time so I knew I hadn't met anyone at a bar. Eventually after probing and pushing I got the girl to confess. She says she was just testing to make sure I was trustworthy, didn't see her again. I've told this before. Little after I turned 21 I was at the bar with some friends, shooting pool enjoying a beer. This group of rough looking 45 plus years women come in, they slowly make their way over to the same side of the bar. We keep minding our business and having fun, I'm standing at the end of the table, when I feel a hand slide down the back of my pants and boxers and grab my axe. Then she screeched out loud, boy your mama raised you right, then walks back to her friends all proud. The bartender kicked them out shortly after, my buddies were cool. They don't give me shit about it, we were all just like weff. I've never groped some random person like that. I'm sorry to all the women who get groped like that. It completely catches you off guard. It's meant to be a compliment, but just makes you feel used and revolting. My one and only Tinder date. Turned out she had signed her divorce papers that day. On the date she laid out her one year plan for us to date and get married. Let her know I wasn't interested in a second date. She thanked me for my opinion and declined not having a second date. Very luckily I hadn't been able to meet her at my house at the start of the date like she'd suggested and we had to meet someplace neutral. I don't like to think what would have happened if she'd known where I lived. Considering that I'm not attractive or rich or otherwise someone women are usually interested in this was a very weird situation. It was just a hi. I don't know anything about you but we're going to be married by the end of the year. No, your opinion isn't relevant. I fell asleep sitting next to one of my friends on the way home from a school field trip in 12th grade. I woke up to her using my hand to play with herself. As I began to regain consciousness she threw my hand at me and made a huge scene about it. I never talked to her about it. It bothers me to this day, definitely top 3. I dumped my ex about 9 years ago and she pulled up outside my back door and held the horn down blocking the road for literally 30 minutes straight. I got in the shower and left via the front door and went to a friend's party. She could have been there for hours because she was still going when I left. Legend has it her spirit is still there honking. Wearing my university sport jacket when I went to grab a fast food order. Some woman I'd never seen before shouted hi and waved at me like we were best friends. Gave an awkward confused wave back and left with my food. A couple hours later I get a friend request on Facebook from someone I recognize as her. Best guess is she saw my jacket and stalked the sport roster to find my name and added me from that. Got blocked real quick. That or on a first date she asked if you were going to k me, how would you do it? I know how I would k you. Then proceeded to tell me her plan on how she would k me and get away with it. My ex was by and at a party she tried making moves on my younger sister who was only 15 at the time, ex was 17, and touching her without permission. I got angry and told her to stop and so the party ended soon after that. A week later not only did she not apologize, she tried to organize a meetup involving both me and my sister along with a few friends, so I told her I don't want her near me or my sister again. This made her so angry she called me on the phone and told me she had a cake and if I keep acting this way she'll use it, she also said she was on the way to my house right now. I was f***ing out at this point but I was hoping she was just bluffing, however sure enough 20 minutes later she arrived right outside my door. I texted her saying I wasn't going to let her in but she kept ringing the doorbell constantly, I texted her again and again to go away before eventually saying after a few minutes that I would call the cops if she didn't leave right now, this finally got her to leave. Luckily, I hadn't seen her since. I had a stalker in college. I worked at a coffee shop. This lady would come in every day and order a coffee, every single day. She was so dedicated to stalking me she would even go in on my days off and order coffee. I would always be like, hey Rachel, I'm not into you. And she would always respond, I'm just ordering coffee you creep. But we know what she was really saying. No but seriously, in my 20s slept with a girl as a one night stand, we did kind of hang out after as she was a cool person. But one day she asked where I was and I said I was working and she said, no you are not, I saw you on the train and I said I know I took the train into work and she lit my car on fire. That escalated quickly. I don't know if this is creepy per se, sometimes it is, but I had women get really into the fact that I'm gay and get very visibly just ecstatic at the idea that I'm going to occupy some sort of gay best friend role in their life, these are very often not even women I know well at all. This has fortunately become less common over the years, I really don't care for it. Keep in mind I'm only a junior in high school. I was about in 7th or 8th grade and I was at a new year's party at my grandparents house with all of their friends, you can tell I'm a party animal spending my new years with 60 and 70 year olds and one of their friends, who I'd known for a while, continued touching me and grabbing me in my waist and thigh region.
She would sneak it in, like under the table or walking past each other or whatever. I totally understand the stereotypical grandma cheek pinch or whatever, but this was something else. After squeezing my butt with both hands, I had enough and said something to her. The rest of the night was super awkward, but the worst part was my grandma was defending her and downplaying the whole situation. It wasn't until I told my mom the next day and she lost her shit on my grandma that she finally admitted she was wrong and I haven't seen her since. When I was 17, eating a slice of pizza in a pizzeria in New York, I was sitting facing the glass looking out to the street. Time was around 7 p.m. It was getting dark. I'll never forget this 50-something-year-old lady who was walking on the sidewalk, saw me eating, slowed down, stared straight at me with the most seductive grin and then winked, then continued on walking. Until that point in my life I had never felt so many emotions at once. I was turned on, weirded out, intrigued, scared. This was as a day I will never forget. She had black hair and was pretty hot. Hooked up with a girl in a nightclub. We went back to my place. She was being really weird on the walk over there, but I thought nothing of it because I was really drunk. Only realized she was being weird when I thought about it later. We get back to my place and messed around and I fell asleep. My roommate was woken up by noises formed downstairs. He got up, opened his door and yelled down the stairs. RM, roommate, he you, hook up. RM, hello? Hugh appears at the foot of the stairs with wet hair and wearing only a towel. You, where's everyone? RM, what do you mean? Hugh walks up the stairs, straight past my roommate and into his room while looking around. Hugh, everyone is gone. Where are they? Where is he? RM, what are you talking about? Are you looking for OP? I'll show you to his room. RM walks each you back down the stairs and shows her to my room. She went into my room and that was it. Or so my roommate thought. He went back to bed, but he couldn't sleep, thinking about the encounter. Then he remembered all the loud noises and decided he should check that everything was okay downstairs in the living room. He goes downstairs, checks the living room, nothing out of the ordinary, checks the kitchen, all good, and then he checks the bathroom and what he found was chaos. The bathroom was flooded with water at least three inches high. According to my roommate, he might be exaggerating. The door for our shower was torn off. There was a towel in the toilet and the entire bathroom was littered with all our toiletries. She had also clearly used my roommate's razor, although I failed to understand where because as I remember, she was shaved all over. Anyway, my roommate f***ed out, thinking about water damage and spent over an hour cleaning and drying up the bathroom at 4 a.m. Needless to say, he's given me some crap about it. The girl was gone when I woke up the next morning. Haven't seen her since. Oh yeah, she also gave me tlapia. Fun times. If you haven't watched my another videos, then be sure to watch this one. I bet it will amaze you. Or you can watch all our videos in a row in this playlist. Write your stories in the comments, subscribe, turn on the bell, and go to our Discord. There we give you money for uploading our videos to TikTok. You uploaded. You gained views. You got money. Link in the comments.